Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor Sylvia Gooseby, the founder of God is a Light Outreach Ministries. We believe in winning souls for Christ, not being led by the ways of man, but by the Spirit of the Living God. Welcome, welcome, welcome to God is a Light Outreach Ministries, part three, morning prayer. Give me just a second, I'm going to share the broadcast. Lord, we thank you. My son, oh son. Lord, we thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just ask you, Father God, again, I hear the do is right. The do is right. Hallelujah. This early, this early morning, Father God, we just thank you for everything that you are doing and what you are about to do, Father. We just thank you, Lord God, for just breathing on us, Father God. In the name of Jesus, allow us to be alive in the land of the living. One more time, Father God. We just ask you right now, this morning, Father God, just cover us. Cover us in your blood, Lord God. Father, whatever it is that we may be dealing with, even in the morning, Father God, we just pray in the name of Jesus that you help us to get through the day, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come up against the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel every assignment that's coming from the devil in the name of Jesus. We cancel the contract that the enemy has set before us this morning in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Even at night, Father God, we cancel the assignment of the devil in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever needs that your people have this morning, we pray, Father God, those needs will be met in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Part three, let's begin with prayer. Follow me one step at a time. This is what the Lord is saying. That is all I required of you. In fact, that is the only way to move through this space. Time, world, you see huge mountains looming and you start wondering how you're going to scale those heights. Meanwhile, because you're not looking where you're going, you stumble on the easy path where I am leading you now. As I help you, give me just a second. Give me just a second. As I help you, excuse me, get back on your feet. You tell me how worried you are about the cliff up ahead. But you don't know what will happen today. Much less tomorrow. Our path may take an abrupt turn, leading you away from those mountains. There may be an easier way up the mountains than is visible from this distance. If I do lead you up the cliffs, I will equip you thoroughly for that strenuous climb. I will even give you my angels charge over you to preserve you in all your ways. Keep your mind on the present journey. Enjoy my presence. Walk by faith, not by sight, trusting me to open up the ways before you. For he will give his angels charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service they shall bear up on their hands lash your dash your feet against a stone this is coming from psalms 91 verses 11 through 12 and this is the amplified bible for we walk by faith and not by sight and this is coming from 2 Corinthians 5, verse 7, the New King James Version. And for reflection, Psalms 18, 25. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for the hearing and the doing of your word. And again, I have not read this the first time we started. 
This is our 40 day with Jesus celebrating his presence coming from Sarah Young, the author of Jesus Calling. So Lord, we just thank you again and again and again. I keep hearing the do is right. As she wrote the presence of what God is saying from what I read. When he was talking about moving up the climb of the mountain and stumbling along the way. In life, we do have to go do various journeys because we all go through different journeys in life. And walking up the climb, walking up that mountain is, is, is the ways of life and the things that we have to deal with and the stumbling along the way is the issues of life and the cares of life. Amen. The Lord said that he have his angels charged over us even when we climbing up. Amen. That mountain. The mountain of life. The things that we dealing with. Amen. That's why it's rough and that's why we climbing. Amen to reach our destiny, to reach what God has for each and every one of us, amen, that we must focus, amen, on the journey. We must focus on the good things, amen, as we go along the way. And we must remember, amen, that whatever it is that we're dealing with, whatever it is that, that, that we are doing, amen, to get where we need to be just to make it from day to day, Amen. We must focus on the goodness of the Lord. And I know it's hard. I hear the spirit of the Lord. This word is for somebody. Everybody, actually. We know it's hard. It is hard. Amen. But the Bible says, those that's in Christ, he said that my yoke is easy and my burden is light for those that are serving Christ. Amen. And for those that don't have a personal relationship with God, I pray that you will receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. So whatever it is that you are dealing with in life, you won't have to go through it alone. You won't have to go through it alone, amen, because God will be there with you, and he will make things a little lighter for you, amen. So y'all be blessed in the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for that word. We want to thank you for the reflection of your word, Father God. We want to thank you for the reflection of you, amen, showing us who you are, Father God, so we can walk this walk in the mighty name of Jesus. And we just ask you, Father God, to continually as your words say, to be with us every day of our lives. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. God is the Light Outreach Ministries. Morning prayer, our third day. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Be blessed in the Lord. Amen. Bye-bye.